In the dim glow of a vintage cinema, the year was 1932 when Freaks cast its mesmerizing spell upon the world. Picture this, the flicker of black and white frames on a silver screen, an audience suspended between fascination and unease as they ventured into a world of the extraordinary and unfamiliar. For many, this was their first glimpse into the lives of individuals whose appearances defied conventional norms. Perhaps you remember that moment too, a mix of curiosity and trepidation intertwining as the story unfolded. Amidst gasps and whispers, the film left an indelible mark, etching its scenes into the minds of those who bore witness. The trapeze artist with no limbs, the conjoined twins whose bond transcended the physical, and the ominous chant of one of us, one of us, a haunting echo that still reverberates through the corridors of memory. But let us not linger merely in nostalgia's embrace. Let's step forward into the enigmatic realm of lesser-known tales about this cinematic masterpiece. Did you know that the movie's cast included actual individuals with various physical conditions, adding an authentic layer of complexity to the narrative? And as we dive deeper, we'll unravel more intriguing tidbits that paint the backstage canvas of this production. So, as the curtain rises on the lesser-told aspects of Freaks, let the allure of the unknown guide us through the corridors of history. It's time to discover the hidden threads woven into this celluloid tapestry, each one adding a new layer of fascination and wonder to a story that has never truly lost its power to captivate. Buckle up, for the journey promises to be as extraordinary as the film itself. And as we embark on this adventure together, let's not forget the feeling of that first encounter, the shivers of anticipation, and the lingering thoughts that followed in its wake. All set. Then let's delve into the shadows and uncover the facts that time almost forgot. Controversial cult classic, unveiling the unique journey of freaks in the annals of cinematic history, few films have left an indelible mark quite like the 1932 masterpiece. Freaks. Conceived by director Todd Browning, the film delves into the lives of circus performers ostracized for their unconventional appearances. While its initial reception was one of shock and outrage, Freaks has since gained a cult following for its audacity and candid exploration of humanity's diversity. Following its completion, Freaks faced an arduous journey to the silver screen. Withdrawn and shelved by MGM after initial public outcry, the distribution rights were later acquired by the notorious exploitation roadshow specialist Dwayne Esper. Under his guidance, the film was rebranded with sensational titles like Forbidden Love and Nature's Mistakes, capitalizing on society's morbid curiosity. This marketing ploy took the film from a mere oddity to a riveting spectacle. Central to the film's allure was Johnny Eck, the half-boy. Eck's presence was unforgettable, his screen test conducted by MGM's scouting unit during a tour in Canada. What makes it truly remarkable is that Eck shared the screen not with another actor, but with the world's largest rat. Despite the unconventional circumstances, Eck fondly remembered the camaraderie he experienced on set. The technicians, the sound men, the electricians, and the prop department, and everybody, was my friend. We got along beautifully, he recalled. Freaks continues to captivate audiences, both for its boundary-pushing subject matter and the resilience of its cast. It's a testament to the power of cinema to challenge societal norms and redefine notions of beauty and acceptance. The tale of Freaks reminds us that what may be considered different is often a source of strength and inspiration. In the end, Freak stands as a defiant work that dared to spotlight the marginalized, transforming shock into introspection. Its journey from rejection to reverence illustrates the ever-evolving relationship between cinema and its audience. Subdued on screen love and a prolonged ban, the intriguing tale of 1,932 seconds Freaks in the 1932 movie Freaks, an unexpected dynamic played out on screen adding a layer of complexity to the narrative. The on-screen romance between Hans and Frieda, two central characters, exuded an unusual subtlety. The intrigue deepens as one learns that these roles were portrayed by real-life brother and sister, Harry Earls and Daisy Earls. The film's narrative, centered around a close-knit community of circus performers, took an unexpected twist as their performances became an embodiment of an unspoken bond, a connection beyond the ordinary. However, it was off-screen controversies that truly marked Freaks as a cinematic anomaly. 
Despite its potential to intrigue, the film faced significant hurdles before being embraced by audiences. Originally rejected for UK cinema showings not once, but twice, in 1932 and again in 1952, the movie remained shrouded in controversy. It wasn't until May 1963 that the ban was finally lifted, and Freaks received an uncut X rating. This extended ban marked one of the lengthiest in UK film history, cementing the film's position as a provocative and enigmatic creation. The convoluted journey of Freaks into the spotlight even extended to its inception. MGM's production chief, Irving Thalberg, handed Willis Goldbeck the challenging task of crafting a screenplay based on Clarence Aaron Todd Robbins' story, Spurs. The sole directive given to Goldbeck was that the script had to be horrible. With a swift flourish, Goldbeck completed his draft, which he promptly submitted to Thalberg. The producer's response was equally swift, but not in the way one might expect. Thalberg was found slumped at his desk, seemingly overwhelmed by the script's content. Yet, after a moment, he looked up and declared, well, it's horrible. Freaks, a movie that thrives on the eerie, the uncomfortable, and the unexpected, has etched its name in cinematic history. Its blend of on-screen intrigue, real-life connections, and a tumultuous journey to the big screen creates an enduring mystique that continues to captivate audiences today. Lost footage and shocking reactions, the unforgettable tale of 1,932 seconds freaks the year was 1932, and the silver screen was about to be shaken to its core. Freaks, a film directed by Todd Browning, emerged as a daring exploration of human uniqueness, featuring a cast of individuals with extraordinary physical attributes. The initial version of the film clocked over 90 minutes, immersing viewers in a world that challenged conventions. However, the reactions it stirred were nothing short of horrific. Audiences were taken aback, with some reportedly fleeing theaters in shock. In response, the film underwent severe truncation, slicing away substantial footage deemed too unsettling for the public eye. That lost footage, a tantalizing enigma for cinephiles, remains missing, leaving behind only fragmented accounts of what might have been. Amidst the array of remarkable cast members was Prince Randian, famously known as the Human Torso. Despite his lack of limbs, Randian exhibited astounding abilities, often carried around the set by his own son. His presence embodied the film's exploration of the extraordinary and the ordinary. Yet, it was the dynamics behind the scenes that further enriched the narrative. During a publicity photo session with Olga Baklanova, renowned for her role as the sinister Cleopatra, the unexpected unfolded. Midget actor Harry Earls, known for his portrayal of hands, injected a jarring dose of reality into the staged affair. His lewd remarks provoked genuine surprise and disgusted expressions from Baklanova, captured candidly in the resulting photographs. These images stand as a testament to the tension between the film's stark reality and the theatricality it portrayed. Freaks shattered boundaries and ignited conversations that reverberate to this day. The lost footage and the provocative reactions it elicited serve as haunting reminders of the film's impact. Prince Randian's presence on set, carried by his son, encapsulated the convergence of reality and spectacle. And the unscripted interplay between Harry Earls and Olga Baklanova unmasked the raw undercurrents beneath the surface of the film's narrative. As the reels of time roll on, Freaks retains its power to provoke, challenge, and captivate. Its legacy endures, etching a vivid chapter in the annals of cinema history. Controversial classic, unveiling the astonishing journey of Freaks in 1932, a daring cinematic venture titled Freaks took the silver screen by storm, immersing audiences in a world both fascinating and unsettling. Behind the scenes, a battle of creative vision and morality raged, revealing the lengths to which one man's conviction could shape a film's destiny. Director Todd Browning, intimately acquainted with the eccentricities of circus life, drew from his own experiences as a former clown and contortionist to conjure the celluloid spectacle. This intimate familiarity with the subject matter breathed authenticity into the film's portrayal of sideshow performers, adding a layer of complexity that resonated with audiences. Yet, the production faced an unexpected hurdle. Studio magnate Louis B. Mayer recoiled in shock upon witnessing the cast of genuine sideshow entertainers that Browning had assembled. Desperate to quash what he deemed a lurid and unsettling project, Mayer aimed to shut down the film's production. 
Enter Irving Thalberg, armed with persuasive prowess and a staunch belief in artistic expression. Thalberg's unwavering advocacy salvaged the project, allowing Browning's vision to persist against the tides of censorship. When the film finally graced theaters, a tapestry of reactions emerged across the nation. Premiere runs in Chicago and Los Angeles fell victim to abysmal failures, leaving exhibitors in San Francisco wary of its controversial content. The film's outright banning in several locales further fueled the fervor surrounding its release. Yet, amid the sea of resistance, pockets of fervent support emerged. Cincinnati, Boston, Cleveland, Houston, and Omaha embraced the film with open arms, lauding its audacious storytelling and audacious portrayal of societies marginalized. Freaks would go on to etch its place in cinematic history, challenging norms and daring audiences to confront their own perceptions of humanity. Despite its divisive reception, the film's legacy endures as a testament to the power of unfettered artistic expression. In the end, the story of Freaks transcends the boundaries of a traditional narrative, serving as a symbol of artistic tenacity and the indomitable spirit of those who dare to tread uncharted territory. As the curtains fall on our cinematic journey through the enigmatic world of Freaks, we're left with more than just images on a screen. This 1932 masterpiece isn't just a film, it's a portal to our own perceptions, challenging us to delve into the depths of what it truly means to be human. As we bid farewell to the characters who stirred our emotions and beckoned us to question societal norms, we find ourselves not merely as passive spectators, but as active participants in the narratives that shape our understanding of diversity, acceptance, and the boundaries of our empathy. Freaks isn't a movie that fades away with the final credits. It resonates within us, leaving an indelible mark on our thoughts and reflections. How does it make you feel? Does it remind you of moments when you've stood outside the norms, seeking your own place in the world? Or perhaps it's a reminder of the power of unity, of individuals with diverse backgrounds coming together for a common purpose. Your personal connection with Freaks is a testament to the timeless allure of cinema, the way it invites us to explore the corridors of our own minds and hearts. Whether it's the haunting performances, the captivating storyline, or the layers of symbolism that continue to unravel, there's something magical about the way this film becomes a part of our personal narratives. So, I invite you to share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, or the emotions that Freak stirs within you. Let's keep the conversation alive, celebrating the impact that this remarkable film has had on us individually and as a collective audience. Your voice adds to the chorus of perspectives that make cinema a living, breathing art form. Thank you for your time and for embarking on this introspective journey with Freaks. Your engagement is a tribute to the power of storytelling and the connections it fosters. Until we delve into the realms of another captivating tale, keep the spirit of curiosity and reflection alive. Here's to the magic of Freaks and the discussions it continues to inspire.